This is where the Afghans are landing when first arriving here in Wisconsin, here at Volk Field, about 30 minutes outside of Fort McCoy. Friday, Wisconsin's Republican congressional delegation seen for the first time behind the scenes at Fort McCoy, meeting military officials and touring the facilities housing as many as 3,000 Afghan refugees by Friday night. We're very glad to have a, uh, a, a candid exchange and discussion and be able to ask questions about vetting procedures, logistical procedures here. And it was very heartening as we, we toured the base to see the soldiers uh, doing their best um, to uh, make the Afghans that are here comfortable. We saw some soldiers playing bags with, uh, with Afghan uh, children. Congressman Tom Tiffany this week facing some criticism for saying he was deeply disturbed by the number of Afghans coming to the U.S. Today saying his concern remains. So I hope a thorough vetting process is being done by this administration and we're going to have a lot of questions about that as we go forward. The White House insists everyone who enters the U.S. has undergone strict security screenings. Governor Tony Evers toured Fort McCoy Wednesday. Vet them when they get there. They've been, they've, they were vetted when they were in Europe. They were vetted when they arrived in the U.S. So uh, I feel confident that what's happening is the right thing. Access to show you inside Fort McCoy and here at Volk Field has been restricted. The flight operations continuing to change and evolve in the coming hours. At Volk Field, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News.